Hello JasperSoft users. In today's video, we're going to begin our dive into how to leverage Jasper Report Server's HTTP API. Specifically in this video, we're going to be exploring how you can use the URL in HTTP requests to access content and interfaces on the Jasper Report Server as embeddable iframes. We'll cover a general overview of the HTTP API, how the URLs work, and a quick tutorial to show these principles in action. The HTTP API is a simple and straightforward way to quickly access the Jasper Report server and embed elements from it into your applications. This is done by using simple key value pairs in the URL query to specify the content. While by no means an exhaustive list, just a couple of examples of things that could be accessed might be a dashboard, the ad hoc editor, or even settings such as the parameters of a report. While this can manipulate some of the more general options, it is largely geared towards just retrieving resources. If you want more fine-grained access to server functionality, you may want to consider the REST API instead. Let's look at the details of how these URLs work. They are broken down into several elements in accordance with HTTP standards. The first set specify the resource being accessed, the host, the path, and the page to request. This is followed by a question mark delimiter to separate it from the parameter series made up of key value pairs, themselves delimited from one another by ampersands, that specify the details of how the resource will be retrieved. Lastly, if you're accessing a repository item, a pound or hash symbol notes the path to that resource. When these are put together in order, they create a valid URL for accessing the Jasper Report server. To see this in action, let's go ahead and build a URL. I have a sample dashboard from my Jasper Report server called Sales Metrics that I want to embed in a web page. In real world scenarios, you would want to set up an SSO solution for security and authentication, but for the sake of time in this demo, I have turned on anonymous access to the dashboard, which effectively removes all of the security on it. Now, as with any URL, I'll first need to specify the host. I have my Jasper Report server running locally on this machine, so I'll set it to localhost port 8080. Next is the server path where the web page is stored. This is going to be under Jasper Server Pro slash dashboard. Lastly, the page I want is going to be named viewer.html. All that's left is to specify the resource I want to access, which is simply its path in the repository found by examining the properties of it in the server's interface. For the sales metrics dashboard, that's going to be public slash samples slash dashboards slash 3.1 sales metrics. When we assemble these smaller parts into the URL, it should look like this, with a pound or a hash symbol delimiting the resource path. If I run this URL in a web browser, this is what my Jasper Report server will return. Now, you might have noticed that this is exactly identical to the page I would have gotten had I accessed it via the Jasper Report server interface. And if you were to open this sample dashboard up yourself, you'd see in your browser the exact same URL. That's because these URLs are the same ones the server interface uses to access its web pages. The interface simply builds them automatically itself, whereas here, we're building them manually. As mentioned earlier, these URLs can also be used to set a range of potential options. Let's imagine for a moment that I want to limit this dashboard to just one country. This dashboard has a country parameter that if I set equal to USA, will show me only the data from the United States. If I add a question mark to delimit the query and then put this URL into my browser, you can see that it will return the same dashboard, but that now only shows locations in the US. I also have the option to use an alternate theme to reskin the interface. By adding another parameter called theme and setting that equal to Jasper Dark, the name of an alternate darker color scheme for the server, and then appending that into the query with an ampersand, I can override the default CSS on the interface. When I run this in the browser, you can see the new darker theme on the main band at the top. If I want to hide the rest of the server interface menus and just show the dashboard part, there is another option called Decorate that I can use. Setting this to No and adding it as another query parameter, just as I did with the theme, the server will instead send my browser the dashboard without the rest of the menus. If I want to go even further, I can remove everything except the dashboard itself by instead setting the parameter View as Dashboard Frame to True, which will return nothing other than the dashboard. That covers the overview, the URLs, and a demonstration of the HTTP API in use. It's a great tool for quickly accessing and embedding resources from the Jasper Report server into your applications and web pages as iframes. However, sometimes you need more fine grain control than just accessing resources. That's where Jaspersoft's REST API comes into the picture. We've linked our videos on that in the description. You can also check out jaspersoft.com for a wide range of other helpful resources, such as the Quick Start Guide or the HTTP API tutorial on our wiki to try some of this out for yourself. You can see the video description for links. From all of us here at TIBCO, thanks for watching.